Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Hello, let me go through my chat. Hey, AB, hey, Ari, hey, Jordy, hey, Moises. Oops, my, oh, here's just my voice going off because I don't have my computer mute, so sorry. My other screen. Hey, Marlene. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Emily. Hi, Uriel. Hi, Andy. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Axel. Thanks for joining us on a Monday morning, May 11th. Good morning, everyone. Um, a quick announcement. This Thursday, this Thursday, Ms. Hoffman and I will not be able to stream this Thursday, we will not be able to stream. I am going into school to pack up our classroom. I know. I know. I'm so sad. I'm going to pack up our classroom. So um, I will not be able to stream. You know what, though? You know what I might do? I might film like a little classroom tour. I'll take a little video of our classroom. And I will... Um, put the thing on YouTube. I, for some reason you can't go on YouTube live from your phone, but, and the Wi-Fi at school, it's a good thing that we're not there because I've heard the Wi-Fi is not very good around school right now. So, um, we, I will take a video and then I will upload it to the channel later that day when I get back. Friday, Moises, we will be here. We will do our stream on Friday. Ms. Hoffman and I have something really fun plan for you guys on Friday, a virtual thing. Um, Thursday, am I still going, the Little Mermaid Zoom, I'll try to hop on there, Gloria, but I will be at school, so um, I'll try to hop on to the Little Mermaid Zoom. I'm not sure if I'll get on to it. Um, any other things that I can think of? The magnet window is open now. The magnet window is open now. So um, if you have not applied, like Uriel, I encourage you to apply. I encourage you all to apply for a magnet school. Um, check our channel, me and Ms. Hoffman's channel for our, um, for our video on how to apply for magnets. I would definitely recommend you guys doing that. Um, all of you, I would recommend going to a magnet school. So do some research. The window for magnet schools closes May 17th. So you have until um, this Sunday by midnight. So this Sunday by 11.59 p.m. to apply for magnet schools or school choice. But I would definitely encourage you to apply. I know there are some kids in our classroom, our virtual classroom and regular classroom, right now that are um, already accepted their acceptance into magnet schools because they applied the first round. So this is the second round of it. I would definitely encourage you to do that. Um, also be on the lookout for some news and some celebrational type. Celebrational, I don't think is a word, but you know, we'll figure it out. Um, be on the lookout for some stuff. Miss Hoffman and I have some tricks up our sleeves. We have some things that we are putting together for you. And then we're gonna send it out to you. So please make sure you have an updated address. And if you have new contact information, please, please, please let us know. So that way we have the most up-to-date information. So for example, if you have moved within like the last 20 days or so, please contact school and let them know that you have moved so that way they can update your information for us, okay? So please let them know if you have moved or something. So maybe not, since probably about school ended. Yeah, call the school I would suggest because they will update your, um, your attendance logs like immediately. So not attendance logs, your contact log, I'm so sorry. And then it'll switch over to us. So we would like to send you stuff, but we need to make sure that all of your addresses are correct, okay? So make sure you get that um, together for us. Okay, so let me go ahead and um, 
share my screen with you so we can go over. Oh, hi, Ms. Snowgrove. Ms. Snowgrove popped on in the background, everyone. I'll call her in in a little bit, okay? I want to go over with you the, what the packet looks like this week. It is extremely similar to last week because as we wind down, guys, we have this week, we have next week, and then um, we've got like four days after that. How do you see report cards? That will also um, be available to you online. So um, the school district should have sent your mom an email or um, something uh, with a PIN number, I think. Um, but later on, AB, I will have Ms. Snellgrove um, answer your question, okay? So just give me like five minutes to go over what the packet work is this week, and then I'll answer some um, of your other questions. Our streams are starting to get shorter and shorter because we're not really teaching you anything new. We're just kind of reviewing concepts, we're just kind of going over what we've been working on all year. And it's so crazy, guys. This reciprocal teaching thing where we do predict, question, clarify, and summarize, that is all stuff that we did literally the first week of school. Okay, Ari, it was difficult to find the pin for me and my mom. Okay, so just give me a second, guys. I'll go over this, and then we'll pop you on. Miss Snowgrove on it, and maybe she can help me answer these questions too. Okay, so let me get my screen. Here is your my screen. So this week you are, we've got a new Time for Kids article. So I left almost the exact same checklist. Your challenge this week is to complete one iReady lesson. Guys, I've noticed there's maybe like two of you that do iReady. So if you are lost and you finished your work for the week and you don't know what to do and you feel like your mom's like, uh, you need to get on the computer, you need to do your work, then pop on over to iReady. So you can at least get some minutes that way. Also remember, try to get 80% or higher on your pass rate. So guys, this week I went ahead and I changed up your um, independent reading work for day four and five, and I'll go over that too. Remember, if you want to see the biggest version and colored version of this time for kids, there is a, um, you've got access to the digital library for free. You just have to subscribe using your parents email address. I went through how to take notes again. Um, this is how to view it in slideshow. I also showed you how to zoom in. So there is a slide on here that specifically shows you how to zoom in, even though I cover it in here just in case. So all you have to do is pop down to the bottom where the percentage is, click on it, click 100%, and it will bring it up nice and big for you. I'm going to go back down to 66% for right now so you guys can see my screen. Um, so we are covering reciprocal teaching. Here it is in English. If your family member that helps you out with work at home speaks Espanol, here it is in Espanol as well. Here are what you are doing each day. Remember, it should take you three days to read this as well as fill out the graphic organizers. If you need to make more than one of these, feel free to make more than one of these, guys. You don't have to squish it all into one page. Just put the title of whatever article you're using at the top. Also, how cute is this little dog? This was me this weekend when you say you're going to take an hour nap and you wake up 10 hours later. That happened to me. Okay, so I went ahead and I found the online version of this magazine. The only slide that is not in color is this one. Um, so there's that. You guys are reading about some graphic novels. So this is pretty cool. I wanted to make sure you got access to this in color. Remember, if you need to zoom, you just go to the bottom and then look how much bigger, oops, well, hello, uh, comic lady. And then you have the access to zoomed in work right here. So you will have to scroll, maybe not as much because my screen is shortened so I can show you guys. Um, this is cool, it's about flattening the curve, which is what we've been doing with social distancing. So kind of an overview of what happens. And then this is really neat too, talking about hair discrimination and how this coalition wants to end hair discrimination. So that's a really cool thing. Okay, so reading and writing, independent reading and writing for this week is to read a book of your choice. And then this is something different that I went ahead and put in here. Your goal this week for writing is to write an opinion paragraph. That means three to five sentences. 
about the worst book you have ever read and why it is the worst book you have ever read. So tell me your opinion. For example, the other day I was talking about Old Yeller and my husband was like, I hated the book Old Yeller. Okay, I loved Old Yeller. Okay, I loved Old Yeller. Okay, I love teaching you guys Old Yeller. But my husband, for some reason, hated Old Yeller. And I said, why? And he said it was hard for him to understand how the author would write, like, in that dialect, the southern slang of, like, saying Old Yeller or Little Yeller Dog or whatever and all that stuff. So he, um, he would, that's why he hated Old Yeller growing up. I was like, okay, you're crazy, but whatever. Anyways, uh, okay, so this is where I wanted to talk to you because day four and five, it's going to change a little bit. So now, oh, I put this picture, this um, meme in here for Miss Hoffman. It says that this kitty likes to collect rocks. Look at the, how cute the little kitty is. It looks so excited and so happy. So, oops. I messed up, guys. Let me delete this slide. That's from last time. Okay, so I went ahead and retyped the questions for you so you could see them a little bit better. There are eight questions all together to read or to go off of all of the articles that you've read, okay? So if you want to take days one through four to read all of the articles and do the reciprocal teaching, awesome. If on day five you want to just answer these questions, awesome. However you want to structure your week, as long as you get the graphic organizer, the TVQs, the writing, and the reading, the independent reading done, those are the four things you must do. Graphic organizer, questions, writing, independent reading, okay? On day four or five, for independent reading, I did not give you a writing task, okay? I went ahead and said you could either read a book of your choice or complete one iReady lesson. So I'm giving you the option of completing an iReady lesson that week. I would suggest doing this iReady lesson, guys. There's vocab, there's comprehension. Please go ahead and do Ms. Hoffman's math iReady lessons. You could do learning games on there. We've just been noticing that there's no iReady action. So if you feel bored and you're done with the work, go ahead and get on iReady. You don't need to get all 60 minutes. We're not asking you to get 60 minutes. We're just asking you to do one lesson. And I think you can manage doing one lesson if you have a laptop at home. If you don't have a laptop at home and you're viewing this on your phone, no worries. Don't stress about it. That's why you have reading a book of your choice or this. And if you don't have any books at home, then reread this article. It's you can Or go on the Time for Kids website. You can do that on your phone because I did that before. You can also do my own on your phone. So there's access to that too. Okay, um, any questions about packet work? Any questions about packet work? My stomach is growling. If you hear weird sounds, it's my stomach growling. Oh, Jordi, yay, you're gonna do your eye ready. I'm happy, thank you. And if for some reason you're like, ugh, this iReady is too much for me right now. Send me a message on Edsby and I can assign different vocabulary lessons for you. Sometimes doing the vocabulary is easier than the comprehension and you're already doing a lot of comprehension. So I might even just go on and assign some vocab lessons because I find that the vocabulary lessons are easy, not easier, but they're just more fun and they're quicker. So um, if I assign you vocab lessons because they're only 15 minutes, I'm gonna assign you more than one because they're only 15 minutes. So you can do at least two vocab lessons. I think you can manage two of them. Okay, so if there are no more questions about the packet, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and bring on some special guests to answer your questions. And I don't see any questions about packet work. Reminder, you can find this on both Clever and Edsby. I will share that, I forgot to do that with you. Hang on, let me... um. Just put this in the other screen. Forgot to do that. So sorry, guys. So guys, this is really cool. Um, now on Clever, you have access to, I can make an announcement on Clever. So I went ahead, I just put a quick announcement. Please do the daily check-in forms and I'm gonna show you a new one. Create a new announcement. Don't 
forget to do at least one I ready lesson this week. If you choose to do vocab lessons, strive or set a goal to do at least two. Part Miss Peavy. And then there is the announcement. So pretty cool. So once again, you can find this week seven e-learning packet. You have their YouTube link, and then you have the recap page, which is going to look like this this week. So here's the recap page. I went ahead and already added our link. Um, and then your EDSB link is here, your daily check-in forms. And then we've been noticing no one's been using this document for questions and answers. That's Stella and Sven. So if you have any questions about the work, put them in here, and we will be able to respond to you. Also, don't forget on EDSB, this is also on EDSB. So I'm just going to sign in real fast, show you how to access the work if you get stuck. So I'll go to mine. Yep, report card time is almost here, guys. I can't believe it. And you know what? I did not pin this, so let me pin this to the top. There we go. So. I went ahead and put, here's your e-learning packet link and your recap page. Guys, click on my picture now and it'll take it. I figured out how to hyperlink my picture. So if you click on the picture, it'll take you to the packet and it'll take you to the recap. Only on this week. I didn't go back and do the others. If for some reason you are behind on your weeks, that's okay. I went ahead and I posted the recaps for these in Clever and you can also find those on Edsby. Reminder, send me a picture of your work via Edsby or Remind by Friday. Please, by Friday. I'd love to see your work. Okay. Um, Joy, question. You do not have to do a Fab Four for every article. Um, you only have to send me a picture of one, okay? However, if you need to do a Fab Four for, like, multiple ones, then you can. So. For example, um, this week's packet work, I'm so sorry, I keep closing my screen. This week's packet work, there are like multiple things. So for example, if you're taking notes on this one that says social distancing, and then you take this one, this is a different verse, like a different story within the article. It's talking about like, this you probably won't need to do a Fab Four on. Like, you're not going to need to do a Fab Four on this one. So I would suggest maybe do one on social distancing. And you can maybe put flatten the curve with it since they're kind of related. In fact, let me see if I can. I'm going to actually move that, guys. I'm going to move that in the week to put these together. Let's do social distancing and flattening the curve together. Okay, so that'll be one. Comic craze will be another. And then we'll move this chart down here with um, the Wear It Proud article. Because this is about a girl who is a high school wrestler, the first girl to win a North Carolina individual state championship in wrestling, which is crazy. This is just a bunch of different data and charts. This is about different things as well. So here you could start with comic craze, then social distancing and flattening the curve will be a section, and then you can do these two together. If you want to do three separate ones because it's easier, go for it, okay? All right, I'm going to take this. Ooh, Miss Hoffman. Miss Hoffman, I'm going to bring you on a lot as well as Miss Snellgrove in a second. Miss Hoffman has her manic Monday silly face ready to go for spirit week. And here's Miss Snellgrove. You're muted, Miss Snellgrove. I think I can take you off. Oh, no, I can't. You have to unmute yourself. Hi, everybody. Hey, Miss Snellgrove. You look so nice today, Miss Snellgrove. Oh, thank you. Thank and your morphed sweater. My morphed sweater, yes. <laughs> How's everybody? We're doing well. Good, good, good. Um, so, Ms. Snellgrove, there were some questions about report card things. Someone wanted to know how they could see their report card. So, 
if they do not know their PIN, if, if you tell me their name, I could look it up and connect and get their PIN. Okay. So A B, I'm taking um make a note if you cannot see your PIN, have mom message this off and I on remind and we can help you get that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you know what happens after they get their pin, then they just go on Edsby and they type it in. We're not sure how that works. Um so I believe it's a separate link. But I will look in my email and pull it up and then uh, get with you. And then you can post it on, your, on that little cover link you saw. Perfect. Yes, that would be perfect. Just because I know next quarter's report card, we're, we already have the timeline. We're going to be starting on quarter four cards already. So, um, yeah, we will see that on soon. So stay tuned, guys. We will get more information to you about report cards. Remember that this is a new time for everyone, so we're all learning how to do this virtually together. Ms. Snow's learning, Ms. Hoffman's learning, Ms. Perone's learning, even the whole school district is learning how to do this together to get you the best information possible, as quick as possible, as safely as possible. So there's that too. Yes, yes, yes. And boys and girls, don't forget, today is snack pickup, 9 to 1. Tomorrow is present. And food pickup, 10 minutes to 12 30. And guys, we have really good stuff. They have strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, Ooh. Um, broccoli, all salads. And then we give a bag of uh, good cereal, cookies, cheese, cheese it. So come tomorrow, 10 30 to 12 30. And that is just for Mort families, right? Just Mort families. And then Wednesday is the food nine to one. And guys, the line is not long. We have it down to a system. So tell your family to come walk up and carry it home because you get a lot of food. And you get to take those little chocolate milks home. Pretty cool. If Hannah was here, she would be saying chalky milk. That's her favorite. Chalky milk. And then guys, I want you in the chat to help me. Okay, so for Spirit Week next week, we have two, we have two um, suggestions. We have a wacky hair pen day and muscle Monday. We have to send a picture to follow up of them doing a PE challenge. But I need three more Spirit Week ideas. Does anybody have one? Okay, we need Spirit Week ideas right in the chat or send them on Edsby to Miss Yeah, that'd be awesome. We have walked you through how to send a message multiple times, so you should be yeah. able to do it without our assistance. AB, I know you always have great ideas, so I think that you will be the person for Miss Snowgrove when coming up with Spirit Week stuff. Ooh, wear crazy socks. Oh, that's a good one. Crazy socks, and that was given to us by AB already. I told you, AB, you're the person. I knew it. Okay. Any okay. other crazy socks? I know Friday is tie dye day. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, wear your favorite color Tuesday. Okay. It's another one. If you have any other ideas, go ahead and send them on Edsby's because Miss Snellgrove is at and also I cannot get over Miss Kaufman. Google guys right now. So these were on my robot vacuum I had. Wear crazy glasses Wednesday. Ooh, crazy glasses Wednesday. Okay, good. Those were the robot that you had? Yeah, this is these these were on my robot 
and um, apparently the robot had scuffed him up a little bit by running into things. And so my husband's like, guess what? I have to, uh, I have to take them off because the, the laser that uses it to guide it through the house um, couldn't see through it. Oh. Miss Snowgrove, one other question that um, we had earlier in the stream was, if parents need to come pick up packets, like how often do they need to pick up the next few packets? So right now, So now, right now, we have it from last week and this week. Okay. So um, we'll get the ones together for next week. And okay. Then pick it up by like Thursday. Okay, Thursday. And they should come like every two. That well, obviously, because now we're on week six and seven, and then the last two weeks you're going to be putting together or we'll be putting together. So the last two weeks will be together for weeks eight and nine, right? Yeah, um, Miss Brown had said she wanted the last week to be a, a practice on a book. Okay. okay. So just something that wasn't, um, but, we'll get, but we'll get more information on that. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. So let them know like Thursdays are one of the best days to come. Yeah, that's good. Okay, Thursdays. Okay. Oh, we've got some more ideas. Okay, good. I'm going down. Um, oh, this is cool. Thinking Thursday. Come up with a cool catchphrase or cool meaning backstory. Ooh. That's Ooh. cool. Um, drawing Wednesday, color a book or draw a picture. Ooh, maybe with, that could be one of the last week's projects. You guys could write your own book about distance learning, about what it's been like for you. Could like make a comic book or something. That'd be really neat. Um, name a flower Monday. Someone else said use vocab words Thursday in at least ten sentences. Wow. Today is sending a funny picture to Miss Snellgrove. So um, make sure you send a funny picture to Miss Snellgrove because it looks like Miss Snellgrove could use some funny pictures. Okay. Especially while she's at work. You should send some to Miss Brown too, just to brighten her day. She probably oh. will. Yeah, she would like that. Okay, if you have any other ideas for Spirit Week, send them to Miss Snowgro via SB. She will still be looking for those. If you are doing paper packets, and only if you are one of those kids who is only doing paper packets, which most of you on here are all computer kids, do not go to school and get a packet if you are a computer kid and you know who you are. Only um, those of you that need paper packets and we know who you are. So also, um, packet work is up. If you have any questions about that, please let us know. Really quick on this day in history, IBM's. Chess playing computer defeated a human today um, named Gary. This was in 1991. So a chess playing computer defeated a human on this day in history. Also, this is the random fact of the day. You guys are going to like this. I think Ms. Hoffman's really going to like this. Bananas are curved because they grow toward the sun. It's plant stimulus. That's something we've talked about with the tomatoes. Oh my gosh. So stay tuned for that connection in Miss Hoffman's class because I'm sure she's going to go over that. She has some other cool things to tell you about plants today. Your kindness challenge today. You're not going to like it, but it's a necessity. Help clean out your fridge. I'll clean out the fridge, everyone. Um, yeah, I need to do that desperately. Yeah, I need to do that. Yeah, help clean out your fridge. How does spreading infections flatten the curve of um, COVID-19? So what spreading 
what flattening the curve is, is that's why we all stayed home. That's why we social distanced. So the reason why we all social distanced was so that way the hospitals could be used just for um, like COVID-19 things. They didn't want the hospitals to become overrun and beds and run out of supplies that nurses and doctors desperately needed for um, coronavirus. So that's what flattening the curve was. So basically, the curve would be this. So if this is where we started with coronavirus cases, like right here, we could have gone like this, up like this, and just kept getting worse before it came back down. So I mean, the curve was was to go like this, make it more of an even keel before it died off. So when you read about that, please let me know if you have more questions, and I will help um, clear that up as best as I can. But again, I'm not a doctor, and I'm learning this. We're learning this along with you guys. And remember, okay. information can change, and we want to make sure we're focusing on information that's backed by science and not backed by by other people that are spreading misinformation. Because you know, not everything we read on the internet is true. Like I showed you that quote from Abraham Lincoln that he supposedly said it, he wasn't around when the internet was around. Yeah. So you need to make sure that what you're looking at is coming from a credible source. So everything that's in the time for kids is coming from a credible source. Video you may see on social media, like on Facebook or something, that's not going to be a credible source to find information unless it is backed by actual science and doctors and things like that. Hey, Ms. Prone, I have a surprise for you. You do? I might have a guest for us on, on my stream today. <gasps> Ooh. Come to Ms. Hoffman's stream for a surprise, everyone. And it's not someone from school. <gasps> what? Ooh, I'm excited. So come to Ms. Hoffman's stream. Yeah, it's called Ms. Hoffman Forgot to Tell Ms. Perone. <laughs> no, which I love surprises, so there you go. Woo! Okay, um, last thing is Virtual Spirit Week for Mort. Today is Monday. Make a silly, crazy face. Snap a picture on Edsby, which we have showed you how to do. Send it to Mel Grove. Remember, there's a competition for teachers. So please make sure that you are participating because Ms. Hoffman and I like to win. So there's that. Um, Ms. Snell Grove, is there anything else that you need to share? I don't think so. Yes. Ramon, you had a question. You have something that you heard that you want to ask if it's true. Well, we can try to tell you. So tell us whatever it is, Ramon. We're not sure if we can help you. And anything we put you in the right direction, maybe. Maybe, perhaps. So. If not, come on Miss Hoffman's stream at 1145 and we can help clear that up too. Yeah. So, Might be typing. I'm not sure. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you did not wish your mom, your grandma, your auntie, anybody that's a special woman in your life, please wish them a happy Mother's Day. Even the people that have, you know, pets. I am a cat mom. Ms. Perone is a dog mom. Ms. Nelgrove is a human mom. And a dog mom. And a dog mom. So, I hope so you guys always are Mm -hmm. We will say to you, ciao for now, air hugs as always, and bye.